So, the learning objective today is was 54 40 or 5 just a, was, was just political rhetoric. And we're going to explore what rhetoric is and political rhetoric is. Because we can't answer this question if we don't understand the question. So, that is our objective for today. Also, take a second and and I'm looking at some of your agendas, and I notice that for some of you, you do not have a goal written down. Please, please. So please write a goal in. Please write a goal in for this week. And what I'd like for you to do is, I would like for you to share again with your team what your goal is for this week. Let me explain the reason why I have you share what your goal is. It's not just a waste of time, but when you share your goal with someone, it becomes more real. It's one thing just to write something down, but it's another thing when you say and you tell another person, I am going to do this. This is my goal for this week. And it becomes more realistic for you. So go ahead, take a second, write in your agenda what the objective is today, and then write your goal down. and. What I'd like for you to do is share again what your goal is and how you're coming on it. And then once you're done, I want to see high fives. Because last time we did this, I didn't see a lot of high fives. I didn't hear a lot of high fives. So let's have some high fives. High fives. It's high fives. High fives. I don't hear any high fives. I didn't see any high fives over here. Hey, yeah, I'm sure I'm here. I'm on me please I need the Chromebooks shut you don't need those right now and what I need you to do is get out a blank sheet of paper when you don't have one see if you borrow one from someone make sure you have your name on this this is an assignment Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Please give me a thumbs up when you're ready. question down, but what I do want you to do is answer this. Think about yesterday and what we learned about as far as the manifest destiny. And the question I want you to answer is, 
how did Manifest Destiny affect American policy? So, like, how how did Manifest Destiny affect how the United States government created new laws? How did Manifest Destiny affect the United States government and how they dealt with other countries? So think about the notes you took yesterday. Think about what we learned about Manifest Destiny. And if you're struggling with this, ask someone at your table and go, what was that all about? What was Manifest Destiny all about? Eyes on me, please. Here's a hint. Think about how the United States interacted with Native Americans when we're thinking about manifest destiny. I'll give you another 30, 40 seconds. I'm not looking for complete sentences. You're welcome to use jot box. Yes. So, how is it manifest destiny affect the United States? How they interact with other countries, and how they how they the United States and how they the United States and how they the United States and the United States and how they the United States and how they the United States
there's several possible answers for this. There's no one right answer I'm looking for. Eyes on me, please. With your elbow buddy, what I'd like for you to do is share information with your elbow buddy and see if you have the same information, see if you have different information. I'll give you about 30 seconds. Go. You don't have an elbow buddy, so you can have two elbow buddies. Those buddies. Last part? Have other unrighteous uh, leaders deal with them. Okay, so the right that we're we can overthrow people that we maybe don't disagree with, right? Who may slow us down in trying to fulfill this destiny. Okay, good. Does anyone have another one they want to share? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we pass laws faster to keep the land under control and um, we actually conquer Okay, so you, you talk about some laws that were passed. Can you identify one law that was passed by the government to kind of secure control over the land? Uh, you can call on someone with their hand up. The Indian Removal Act was one. There was another one about oh land. Oh, what was that? Homestead Act. I can't hear it. What? Homestead Act. Oh, I hear two people. What was it? Homestead Act. So who can tell me the details about the Homestead Act? Look for hands on this one. Give me some details. People got land for free. Okay. Yeah. Homestead Act. Okay, so you got 160 acres. Um, it was pretty much for free. Oh, could freed slaves get this? Yes. Could women? Yes. But, kind of like what you're saying, it wasn't like, oh, here's Dallas, Oregon, and you're just right outside Dallas, Oregon. We're talking places that are very remote. What else do you want to add to that? They didn't just get it for free. They had to build a house and improve for five years, and then they got it. For five years, and then yeah, there was there they had they had to have some ownership in it, right? But for five years.